Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be prepping loads of little ammonites. Well I say loads of little ammonites. This is the last of the crushed ammonites I found a few weeks ago and I think it was it would be unfair if I did individual videos on all of them. So these ones they're kind of like some might need a little bit of prep with a scalpel and then I'm just going to paraloid them all up and we're done and then I can go hunt some more. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. We've got loads of different bits and bobs to do. So if you watched the initial vlog where I took you guys hunting with me, you might remember this lovely piece. So we've got this beautiful pair of ammonites here. Oh, did you guys see that? <gasps> Look, there's another one underneath. That literally just fell off. Like, this is what I mean. They need to be prepped now because they're drying out. Um, but what? <laughs> I think there's another one under here as well. Okay, this one might be a bigger prep. So maybe this video will be doing this one because I'm now going to have to dismantle this piece to find out what's under it. But if I just carefully, I don't want to take off the pair. It's okay. Scalpel. There we go. God, I keep being so shocked by this piece already. Can you guys see the colours in this? Let me like, is it focusing? It's pink. My camera is totally not gonna pick this up, is it? Wow, that that is a beautiful ammonite. Okay, we're gonna work on this piece today and I'll do another video on all the other ones because this has just shown me it's a lot more interesting than just putting some paraloid on these two, two bad boys up there. So we've got those two there, that one, we've got one here. Okay, we're going to prep this one today, so sorry about the initial introduction, we're going to do another one now. So today, I'm going to see what else is in this rock. Okay, so I'm going to clear my workbench a little bit. Sorry if you guys can, it's just started tipping it down. And uh, I came into the garage wearing only my slippers, so um, it looks like I'm not going back to my house for a while, but that's fine, I'll just prep ammonites, you know. So for the time being, before I start doing any more exploring, I'm going to paraloid this one and these two, just using the solution I've made in my jar, um, just because I think they're really delicate, so I just want to make sure I keep them in one piece. So let's just get some on my brush. So I might let it drop on just so it can kind of do the work for me. bit nice and thick but not too thick so I really love this piece because obviously it is a nice pair so I really don't want to ruin it <laughs> so when it slid off in the intro I was so worried I killed it but it just looked like there was another one that wanted to say hello So it's actually got a loose bit of shell there, so I do need to be very careful with this one. This one's a bit more robust, it would seem. Perfect. So we'll leave them like that for now and then I can always add another coat on. But it's already brought out their iridescent colours a bit more, which I think is fabulous.
So it kind of just peeled like a sheet. I'm sure you guys would have just seen. Like, it's very weak down the layers. Um, and there are some fossils on the back. Oh, I don't want to touch the actual... Wait, there we go. Yeah, there are evidence of fossils on the back. This one is quite worn, and I think the shell came away with the bits. And then there were some nice little ones here, but they were very weak. So definitely focusing on this side only. <laughs> but um, I don't know whether to kind of chop it. Because I really like these, this like trio here, but then there is the, you know, two down here. I don't know if it kind of is too big to have so many little ones, if you guys know what I mean. So I'm gonna, oh, it's, it's still like sheeting at the back. Like literally, look, I can just flake it off. It's crazy. So I think I need to put some paraloid along the back here. Um... But the only issue is I don't want to lie it on its front, so I'm going to have to like hold it and paint it on. But that's fine. We'll do that. But yeah, let me know if you would keep it as this size or whether you would make it smaller so you could like just see these three. I'm kind of feeling the smaller one. Because I'm not... These ones, I mean, they're nice. But they're nothing that special compared to the nice three here. And you can see the colours in them. I really... I don't know if my camera's doing... Cam cameras doing them justice but with the naked eye you can see it yeah so let me know what you would do whether you would keep it that size or not but i'm going to paraloid the back i won't film that bit because it'll just be boring but um then i'll be back i actually changed my mind i decided to paint down the sides with paraloid so down here they literally all wanted to split open and i was like no so i don't think there's much point me painting this side because it just wants to fall off basically um so i've yeah, I've tried to like paint down the cracks so they can fill in a little bit, but um, whether that will do the trick, I don't know. But yeah, I'm quite chuffed with how it turned out. I love these three, so I've, it's just as well I held it up to the camera to show you guys at the start, otherwise this bit never would have fell off. Um, so I'm really happy with how they've turned out. I'll just make sure you guys can see them properly. Like, I think they look beautiful. They're just something really special about them, so I'm really happy with that. But let me know if you would keep it the size. I think I'm going to whack it and make it half, because I'm just not feeling this end. But I don't know what shape, how I would display it. So give me your input. How would you do it? But I think I'm going to cut it, but it's not set in stone yet. Get it? But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to finish it here. This was probably actually quite a short video considering I thought this was going to be more interesting and then it kind of wasn't more interesting but anyway next next video I will be prepping all these little ones in here so I'll give you a sneak peek so you can see you can see some of the shell coming through there so they all need like a little bit of work but not loads of work and probably not enough for a video each so I was just going to do the whole shebang in one go but um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. My Instagram and Twitter's down below, so check that out if you'd like to. But um, yeah, I hope you're all doing well, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.